So John, you've got to be pretty happy with what we've seen so far today. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a very special project and it's one that's very close to our hearts. And it's, it just plays a small part in contributing to the lost their, their amazing work. And they've got a long journey ahead. Um, because the time is now ticking. Uh, our year ahead will be uh, out on the sea, collecting the remaining coral species. No, completely. I mean, I mean the fact that they've been collected, I think, um, being sort of about 25% of all species out there so far. So 130 odd out of like you know, 100. Yeah, which is amazing. So there's a lot of work to do. And I can see, actually see how they're going to outgrow this facility incredibly quickly. How important is it for Goodweed to support you know, projects such as this one here at the Pro Reef? Incredibly important. We're in that fortunate position where we're manufacturing products that can make a big difference to this kind of thing. And by donating these systems to worthy causes, obviously we can't get for everyone. Yeah, I'm on with this. But trying to help with wide, wide scope of courses and as many projects as possible is very important to us because it plays a, it, the, it plays a strong role and makes a big difference on the other, on the other end to their um, wallets and also to their operational peace of mind. Yeah. We're in uh, Kent. They're prone to cyclones, thunderstorms, and a lot of power losses. So having that backup energy is absolutely vital because that ensures the health and safety of all the affected by species. Which is absolutely amazing. And like backing up, I mean, you know, we've just filmed, you know, the uh, the Gidri Eco's Market only um, a, a week ago yep. um, at the at the Melbourne Home Show, which was amazing. And I wasn't there in person, but the car was my. You were there in spirit. I was there in spirit. I saw, I saw my big my, my mug plastered on the wall. And uh, Sam took a, a nice selfie of that, thanks Sam. Uh, but apparently that went incredibly well. It's so heartwarming once again to see the submissions from those kids you know, in that environment. And, um, and once again, uh, just for the future, you know, those future ideas, it's, uh, it feels through the hype, right? Definitely, and it's a natural, and it, this shows that this isn't just a case, oh, we've done our part, we've given them inverters and batteries, job done, no, no, no. This is a long-term project. We're here to support them, and having these guys involved in the Ecos Matrix program it was just—it it was a no-brainer. Yeah. Because it brings together every aspect of the workshop we deliver, such as in, informing the kids about climate change, what they can do to help the environment, and how renewable energy plays its part. And having something visually striking and, and as important as this. I think it really hits home with the kids and, and their families and teachers, uh, teachers and schools. Amazing. Okay, we're on the move, John. We'll get back to you guys later.